cancer patients and survivors with neuropathy. Do you really think I would expect you to exercise when you feel like you have pins and needles sticking in your hands and feet? Well, the answer is yes. I do expect you to exercise. I'm cancer physical therapy expert, Dr. Leslie Walkie, and here's the background, and here's the why you should be exercising. CIPN, chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy, or I like to call CIPN, crappy irritating pins and needles. Many chemotherapy drugs, including the taxanes, taxol and taxotere, and platinum drugs, for example, carboplatin or oxaloplatin, those drugs can damage the linings of our sensory nerves in the hands and feet, leading to symptoms such as pain, numbness, tingling, and pins. Now, there's nothing that can prevent these, chemo these neuropathies from happening, but talk to your medical oncologist, because there are some things to try to minimize how much neuropathy you get. They may try things like vitamin B6, vitamin E, even glutamine powder, okay? But there is no true prevention, and if it happens to you, it is not your fault. And on the back end, there is no cure once neuropathy sets in. But again, there are things to try. Talk to your medical oncologist about gabapentin or ibuprofen or other pain medications to help reduce the amount of symptoms that you feel. Now we know that the chemo, these chemotherapy drugs can damage the linings of our sensory nerves. There's not direct damage to joints and muscles. But here's where the exercise comes in. Even though exercise cannot directly lessen the amount of neuropathy that you feel, if you're not moving because you have so much neuropathy, you are going to end up with stiffness and weakness in your muscles and joints in your hands and feet. And that is not okay. I will often say, if you got to have numbness and tingling, it's better to be numb, numb and tingly and strong than it is numb and tingly and weak. Sitting on the couch is not going to make your neuropathy better. It's just going to lead to more loss of function, more weakness, and more disability. I'd rather, if you have to be numb and tingly, I'd rather you be out with your numbness and tingling, walking, laughing, exercising with your family, on the job, and so forth. Now, when it comes to exercise, you're going to have to find what works best for you. You may want to, if, if walking bothers you, try bicycling. If bicycling and walking bother you, try walking in a pool or swimming. Sometimes putting on an extra pair of socks can be helpful or lightly massaging your hands and feet before you begin the activity. Experiment. Find out what works best for you. Or you can even cut your exercise periods into smaller chunks of time. Again, the exercise isn't going to make your neuropathy better, but it's not going to make it worse. So you've got to find ways to keep moving. I'm Dr. Leslie Walkie from The Recovery Room. Exercise on.